Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, February 7th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany, and week four in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Mark chapter 8, verse 27, to chapter 9, verse 1. And join me now in singing the second verse of From All That Dwell Below the Skies by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Eternal are your mercies, Lord. Eternal truth attends your word. Your praise shall sound from shore to shore. Till sun shall rise and set no more. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Psalm 74, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins, the enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They've gone and struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They've set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They have said in their hearts, let us destroy them. They burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, then the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked, and forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O oh God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish reviled you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 27. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others Elijah, and still others one of the prophets. And Jesus asked them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, you are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, 
and after three days rise again. He said all of this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.